March in Chicago is full of surprises. One day you see snowdrops blooming, next day there's snowstorm. One day 70 degrees and the next one 25. Regardless of the weather, you can still do gardening. And today I would like to share with you one week from my Chicago March gardening journey. Exactly one week ago, on Wednesday, March 2nd, was a very nice uh, warm day, like around 70 degrees, and I went outside and prepared my beds for some plantings. I planted a bunch of different types of radishes. Also, I planted spinach, arugula, and mush. I covered this bed with storm windows to create a cold frame effect. New seedlings will be protected from snow and cold winds. On the other side of the garden, I also set up a cold frame in which I planted few different types of spinach. One of them is perpetual, another one is the Inverno and Bloomdale long-standing spinach. I also planted two types of lettuce, Lonex and Chinese Nero, early Mizuna and icicle radish. And in this portable greenhouse, I planted more radish, some Helios yellow radish, another yellow from Poland called Zlata, also Chinese radish, which is supposed to be pink, Malaga purple, and pink beauty. I also planted few varieties of carrots. Royal Chanteray, Uzbek golden carrot, which I'm growing for the first time. Also Japanese long carrots, white carrots, cosmic purple, and yellow amarillo. First, I planted all of the seeds and then after I was finished, I put the greenhouse plastic on top of the frame and um, this way it will stay until it gets really warm outside. I like to plant carrots early because they take their sweet time to sprout and uh, radishes do grow fast, so I'm hoping to have first harvest in about a month. I also have a bigger greenhouse which is um, also with plastic and it's uh, attached to the side of my house. And into this greenhouse I brought some seedlings from indoors so they can uh, get acclimated. Right now it's almost 60 degrees in the greenhouse, but it's almost nighttime. It was as hot as 80 today in here in this greenhouse. And the seedlings I brought in are all the cold tolerant veggies, so things like cabbages, broccolis, cauliflowers, kales, stuff like that. Also pansy flowers. So this way I am doing hardening off uh, my seedlings instead of taking them out and bringing them indoors every day. I just put them into this greenhouse and this serves them as a transition between indoors and outside. In a few days after the nice weather that we had, we started getting snow, a lot of snow. On March 6th, it started snowing and it got cold like around 28-29 degrees. So all of my plantings got covered with snow, all the greenhouses, cold frames and winter sowing containers. But since I just planted those things into the greenhouses and cold frames, I wasn't worried about them, but I did get to worry about my seedlings that I had put into a bigger greenhouse. So I went to check and it was very foggy from the inside, which gave me hopes. So let's see how they are doing in there. 
first let's see what the temperature is showing and it is 31 few degrees warmer than the outside but they are also covered with the frost blanket so it looks like they are doing just fine few days in the greenhouse and they are not bad at all even though at night it was like 25 degrees so as you can see greenhouse one layer of plastic and one layer of frost blanket do help with uh, protecting these young seedlings so you can have some things growing even with the snow on the ground just take a look how much snow we got on march 6. but snow in march is very temporary in a couple of days it got warm again and today is march 9th wednesday again so one week from the time i planted some of these things in cold frame and portable greenhouse and i would like to show you that some of them are already sprouting so remember these storm uh, glass windows i had to remove them because i saw radishes sprouting already so within one week, even with drastic temperature changes, we got some radishes sprouting. And while we're at it, let's take a look at the winter sowing containers, because I think there might be some growth as well. I planted some cool growing vegetables and flowers in these containers. So let's take a look. In the first one, there is some greenery already little tiny seedlings but um, that's okay and this is spinach there is also one more thing sprouting and this is rocky arugula as you can see on the tag i did these winter sowing containers on january 19th which is almost two months ago but they were just sitting outside and no one was touching them until now today i opened them for the first time let's see this second container what's growing in here and in this container i planted cabbages and early purple vienna cabbage already sprouted also chinese broccoli is starting to show up now this third container is more leafy greens are planted there are some winter choy, mibuna, mizuna, and some lettuces growing. So the first one is mibuna, second is winter choy, then mizuna is starting to sprout, and over there in the end is Chinese lettuce. In this container I had planted some different varieties of flowers and there is not much growing only one thing i see sprouting already and let's see what it is it's calendula yeah calendula is a cool growing flower so it will be the one of the first that sprouts more flowers in this container let's see what this one is and this is dwarf sunflower well that's a surprise i thought sunflowers like worms and polar zinnia zinnias are fast to sprout yes i've noticed that bachelor buttons are one of the first ones to start growing as well there's more bachelor buttons in the last container these are black variety bachelor buttons today is really warm in chicago and in my greenhouse it got so hot almost 100 degrees so i had to come and open it and let my plants breathe a bit just look at these <laughs> poor babies they got so overheated and the soil got dry so i need to water them as soon as possible so as you can see you can garden in cold climates like in chicago illinois 
in March, early March, because in one week we can have uh, different temperatures from 25 degrees or even colder, we can get to 80, 100 degrees inside the greenhouse and 70 outside. But with some good planning, you can do gardening even in such conditions.